Have I been playing football manager for 12 hours straight? No. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to a new season. I have done the transfer window. It was very enjoyable. Money on transfers is not the problem. We knew that going in. Even the biggest teams don't spend a million quid on players. However, wages. Yeah. No. Like the most I can, my cap is like 2,000. I've had to up the wage budget. My cap is 2,000, but I can't really spend that. So realistically, I was trying to keep it like 1K, maybe one and a half if it was a spectacular player. Um, most half-decent players that wanted to join me were looking for between five and 6,000. One guy in particular asked for 48,500. Um, so we signed him. Uh, yeah, so lots of transfers. We are under budget because I had to whack up the wage budget, take a bit off the transfer budget. That's fine. I didn't want to go too crazy. I could, I could do that even more and maybe get some of those players... But I also don't want to bankrupt the club. In other news, the stadium that had been planned from when we joined got cancelled because the local council blocked planning permission and then I asked them to do it and they said no because we've got no money. I don't know how they were going to do it before because we had the same amount of money. But that's neither here nor there. Right. Okay. Let's take you through some transfers. Bunch of free transfers. Got rid of a few randos. Um, Snadge went, Toth went, who's not a bad youngster, he's got some good mentals, not very good at football, didn't really have a spot for him that really worked, and whenever he did play, it was awful. Um, Milo to one of our youngsters went, and then a bunch, so we got 55 grand. It's not the worst. Let me take you through. The transfer's done a bit of work. It's been an interesting window. Um, Armine Fertut, he is Moroccan. He is an attacking midfielder with a bunch of flair. Likes to get forward whenever possible. Tries killer balls often. Argues with officials. Dives into tackles. Tries first time shots. He could be one of those ones that just absolutely smashes it or is awful. I don't think maybe the second. It's fine. It's fine. 26 years old. Coming into his prime. £800 a week. Very good player. Upgrade on Snadge. Next up we have Miloz. Piekatowski is Polish. Obviously, he's got a ski on the end. Here's our new battling out for first choice goalkeeper. Um, we picked him up really early on. He's on paper slightly better than Kermit, but I'm going to let them battle it out. He's on 1K a week. <sighs> Expensive stuff. Uh, but I think he'll, it's nice to have t essentially two first choices. Next up, started to spend some big. Fat money, 10k on Vladimir Milanovic. Um, he is a Serbian striker, a backup striker, more of a sort of targety man. Targety man, that's not. Um, but like a decent player, not going to be first choice. He only wanted 500 quid a week. Main reason I bought him, he is, yeah, he's there for a good time, not a long time. He's no, he's there for a bad time, not a long time because he probably won't play much football, but he was cheap. Um, next up, we have Nikolai Milic for 80k. Uh, here's our new wide centre-back on the right. Very hard to do at this level still, but I think he's very good. And he's like got a little bit about him, could play a bit more football. Um, and a good, well-rounded player with some really nice mentals, actually. Um, so hopefully he'll do well for us. One of my big things I wanted to do this transfer window was, essentially last season we had four good centre-backs... You know, we use three at a time. Four good centre-backs and then two kind of shit ones. So whenever we needed to dip into that, it was awful, as we saw. So I wanted to make sure we had five, six really good centre-backs. Um, next up, we have Steven Benkovsky. That's the one I told you about before. A left-sided centre-back. Good young Slovak. Uh, spirited he is. Again, only on £300 a week. The budget is the hardest thing. And then... A cheeky little Daniel Novak. They didn't want to give him to free. They triggered the release thing, the contract extension. So then I just bought him for 60 grand. Because, you know, goals. Um, yeah, very happy with that. Uh, next up we have Dusan Duric for £15,000. This guy, another little Serbian. Very good. And he can take free kicks, which will be nice. 
And he attempts overhead kicks, which you, regardless of if they've got that trait or not, you very rarely see. He's more of a deep lying forward, is what we plan to use him, but can dip in as the number 10 if needed. Um, then we've got Roman Odreka. Um, he is our new backup right winger, essentially. You know, he's not going to be first choice, is he? That's that's crazy talk. Um, and then this guy, I'm excited. This 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 guy could be good. Mohamed Bayo from Haroya AC for seventy five grand. He's I just think he's got a bit about him. He's Guinean. He's nineteen years old. He's going to improve. He's got some really good abilities. He's decent in the air. He's Got good, very good passing and vision and stuff. There's a deep line forward. Not the quickest in the world, but it's not the most important for that duty. I, I just, I've got a sneaky suspicion about him. I think he could be good. He's our highest paid player on one and a half grand a week. Really pushed the boat out. Oh, that you, Ollie. <clears throat> Next up. So we needed a ball winning midfielder because the only one we had was rubbish. So we've got rid of him. So we've signed two Germans. One of them, hopefully, will take the mantle. We've got Giovanni Biscadelli, who sounds Italian, clearly is Italian, but is German. And is just German. There's no there's no uh, Italian about him. Um, other than his name clearly being Italian. Uh, just a sort of solid, he's sort of right back, but we're gonna, as a ball-winning midfielder, he's just learning the position. Think he could do well. Don't think he's going to set the world alight. Like, couldn't find a, like, a real really good top-level one. And I, because I wasn't sure if he'd make it, I didn't want the crap one to be the backup and have to step in because he's crap. So we've got uh, Michael Gierk, who's essentially the same player. Uh, but this one's on loan. Uh, so one of them, but at least he knows the role, which is good. And finally, we have um, needed a defensive winger as backup. Struggled to find one, but we've got Victor Svek who's going to come in as our backup on loan. Um, we've also got Shelburne back on loan, which is great, because normally they want to, oh, I want to try in a different atmosphere, bollocks. Do have a few minor injuries as we go into the season. Kodjnok is still knocking about. Um, I did try... Where was that guy? Because I'm not bitter about this. There was just something... This guy. Remember this guy? I pointed him out. He was at Dortmund. Available for a free transfer. And I'm like... That's a ball-winning midfielder, right? That's a ball-winning midfielder. That's a he's our ball-winning midfielder. I offered him two grand a week, and he went to Augsburg for one thousand one. He's loaned. He's like a loan him. Shall I loan him? <laughs> I'm not paying the fifteen grand or something. No, no, with an optional future fee. Fucking hell, little money-making scam. You just signed him. <clears throat> so that's that's a little bit annoying. He chose them but fair enough. So overall, we have definitely strengthened. Let's have a look at the season preview. I'm assuming it's horrendous. Ooh, let's go. Right. What's this rule stuff about? Oh, God. What's this? Right, so this is the league. So there's a relegation group and a championship group. I'm assuming it like splits after two. League splits in two after 22 games. So there's 11, yeah, 11 other teams, 22, hmm, maths. Okay, and then you, like, play each other. What is he going to say? We'll worry about that when we get to it. <clears throat> but the finances are looking decent. We've made some money on all the shenanigans and season tickets. Right, Kermit, pressure is on him now, though. All right, Milic, our new wide centre-back. Uh, Murat. Signed a new contract. He's going to be great. We've got Dennis Schultz still as our sort of sixth choice, essentially. Uh, Kromosta signed a new contract. Loving life. He's going to have a great day. Your dad's still here as well. Um, I am going to get rid of Rabble, but he's been injured for like ever. So that's not a problem. Uh, Binkowski is... Okay, so we don't technically have a left side here. Because the one, the only one we've got is suspended. Who would like a go on the left? None of these players look remotely capable of doing what needs to be done. Let alone have a left foot. That's like secondary. Somebody is going to sacrifice themselves, and it's going to be one of the Germans. Um, 
considering he doesn't know. Okay, he's just gonna. Okay, I'll put him there for a sec. <laughs> right, ball winning midfielder. You can go there, um, and then we're gonna go for Fertoot as the number ten, Mister Flair. We're gonna go for Bayo as the deep line forward, and then Novak, obviously. We've got options now. We've got four decent strikers now. Kodjanocker can play there as well. As can for Toot. Yeah, he can play there quite comfortably. Um, so that's not a bad little team. So we are missing two centre backs. Do we get nine subs? Okay, I think every one of the people left over is going on the bench for a total of six subs. How long is everybody out for? Two weeks. Seven weeks. Suspended. And four weeks. Okay. That's fine. My reserves look decimated at this point. Because <laughs> I've... There's Chubbs. Look. Sneaking in there. Nobody wants him. Five grand. Might have to just give him away. Okay. But at least everybody is fit that's actually available. We've got Jurich. Um, is going to battle it out with Novak, I think, as that pressing forward. He can play both roles, to be fair. Any problem with him? Unambitious. Right. We are playing, in the first game of the season, the team we just beat 3-0 a week ago in a friendly. And then we're... Do we need to play another? I don't know why we've... That's That wasn't me. Let's not have a friendly after. That would be uh, silly. Okay. All good, all good. So this roll on the left. Just do your best, mate. Do your best. Can't ask too much of you because you don't even know how to play a central midfield, let alone left wing. We'll cross that bridge and come to it. We'll fix that problem. It's all good. All right, a lot of debuts today. All right, I want... Obviously, Novak's numbers are going to drop this season. Understandably, bigger teams, all that good stuff. If you can get like 5, 10, 15 goals, I'll be very, very happy. Um, but, okay, we lost our assistant manager. Hello? Hello? Okay. <clears throat> but I want Bayo to have a good game and Fatout to have a good game. You know what we haven't done? You're going to know because I always do it. Uh so who are we playing? Trensin. Season preview. Third. Okay. They are a solid side. Floating about fifth every season, pretty much. At home. Thankfully, I don't think there's any rules to say that we need to have a bigger stadium. <laughs> if we don't fill out a stadium, I'm going to be slightly annoyed. Okay. Riveting start. They're suggesting I should play my right back stroke defensive winger, not at left wing. I can't believe it. Right, Norbert. <clears throat> if you get 10 assists in the league this season, Norbert, you're going in the Hall of Fame. It's my promise to you. Right. All right, all right. Oh, look at this football in the top division. Look at this skillful football. That's a nice ball. He's off. He's got to be off. He's got to be off. Do we have VAR in this league? He's off. He's off. Wheeling away. We're not playing. <clears throat> oh, Trenava. Did I look at Trent? I think I looked at Trenchin previously. Oh, I say so. They're sister teams. Right, Bo. Okay, cleared away. Okay, for two, lovely. Norbert, come on. Just get that ball in. Do what you do best. <sighs> for two with a lovely little chip finish. Good save. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay, overall, half time, first game. To be fair, they might be the worst team in the league. But this is still good. Right. 
where it's going to be need to taken off at some point. But I don't want to do it too early because we've got our sixth choice centre back to come up for him, and we know he was the one that just sort of disappeared from the central defence role. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We've got timer out. There we go. Lovely. That's a good ball. Norbert does what he does. But, ah, it's not the best cross. In fact, ooh, he's as a pop. Is that my? Is that the left? Is that the German? <laughs> he's like, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to shoot. Okay, Schultz. I don't want to, he's good wide centre back and he's left footed, so I can't, so he has to play there. Okay. Um, let's give, swap you two round. And let's give, let's get the debuts out of the way. Um, I'll bring you in as that. Or we could, we could go for both. He's more of a target man, I'd have to. So we could go Durich for you, you for you, to make you target forward. I know he's not like a giant target man, but he's got very good heading. Nice, well held. Your dad. Robosta. Nice for Piscatelli. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Oh, go on. Go on. Yes! Let's go! He gets the goal! Oh, what a ball from Piscatelli! This could have been a sending off if they missed time. That's a great tackle. So, you can argue it's almost from behind. We oh, stay it up. Say so we are stay it up. Pretty even game. Come on. Hold on, boys. I mean, this three points might be really important. This might be a relegation six-pointer for all I know. Okay, he's, he's all alone. Get a tackle in. Get a tackle. Oh, yeah. oh we're, all over, we're all over the shop a bit here. Kromosa does really well. Okay, he kind of just assisted them. Oh, your dad has just given away a penalty. Come on, Kermit. Just it didn't look like terrible, but it looked like he just kind of bundled into him. Okay, it is what it is. Big team bias. Do not lose, Milanovic. Dinked forward. Durich is there. That, that's a dive. You're surely a dive. <laughs> he even says it. Okay, that was all. Okay. Yes! Do I feel guilty? Not at all. Not at all. They got fluke. Big team bias. Let's go. I feel like... It feels even more dodgy because he's the penalty taker. You know, that's what he was thinking. But we will take that win. Um... No, no, no. Just take nice work. Don't try and like shit sandwich it. Oh, great work. Considering you played shit, that's really great work. Great result. No, no, no. Right, let's have a quick look at the stats because I want to see things like transfer spend and wait. I want to see where we are on the wage ladder. I want to see how bad it is. We are off the mark. Spartak Trnava. We'll go with that. Both the strikers came on, got a goal. Inspired. Inspired, my friends. Um... Okay, season preview. Where were they? Okay, so they were fourth. They're fourth in the season preview. They're actually a slightly better side. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Team detailed. Let's have a look at transfer. Wow, that's okay. We're third. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, Billy Big Bollocks over here splashing the cash. And salary. Okay. Oh, okay. This makes me feel better. We have had to up it. I think it would have been more like around the 650 mark. 
before I force you some of the transfer budget. Okay. This bodes well. Because, you know, it's horrible when you get promoted and then you realise you've got half the budget of the next lowest team. But this feels like we've got a chance. I don't know what else I... If I need anything else. Got goalkeepers, got centre-backs. Because we've got the two that we're missing today. So that's fine. I don't think I really need anything else. And we've got, you know, loads of good strikers, apparently. Oh, does Durich good at penalty taking? Uh, no, he's not. Take a free kick, but can't take a penalty. Okay, I feel like there's... It's like an easier version. Right, <laughs> there we go, my friends. You've seen the transfers. You've seen us absolutely smashing, like, fourth place in the league. Absolute destruction in that game just then. Where are we finishing in the league? I'm going for top half, the, the, the split thing. I'm going for top six. I'm going for six. And we're going to get in the championship group and then lose all the games and actually wish you'd actually just finished seventh because then it would have been a lot easier and you would have had easier results due to the way the terrible league system is set up. That's what I think. Six plays. Let me know what you think in the comments. Welcome to another season. I'm going to stop playing for the day because I am tired and my voice is hurting. Right. I love you all very much. Have a good rest of your evening. I'll see you next time. Bye. It's all I've forgotten how to do an outro. Not been that long.